Hey, Trevor Matthews here with another two minutes with Trevor. I want to talk a little bit about crankcase heaters, how to install them, where to install them, and the differences between different compressors. I was on a podcast today with Martin King from Process Chiller Academy, and we were having a conversation about uh, scroll failures in chillers, and he said he's seen a lot of crankcase heaters fail, which led to uh, flooded starts, which causes a slug failure or damage in the scroll. And flooded starts are, is from refrigerant migration. And refrigerant wants to travel to the coldest part. If the crankcase heater is damaged, and that oil is the coldest a spot, it will migrate into the oil, stratify, and when that compressor starts up, you have a massive explosion, causes damage in the compressor. I told them I was at a site where they had 16 chillers, and 14 of those 16 chillers had failed crankcase heater, and they were located in a bunch of different spots, not very consistent. And as you can see behind me, I got a picture here of a couple of different scenarios. This one here is a ZR 84 to 144KC, and it shows the location of it. So it's 14 to 24 mils above the base plate, and you wanna make sure that you put the, the nut right over the seam. Because if you don't, if you just put that crankcase heater over the seam, you could stretch it if you tighten it too much because it's, I believe it's 20 to 25 inch pounds torqued on there. And you can stretch it, damage it, or break it, which could lead to this flooded start or a slug of a compressor. Always check the application engineering builder of that specific scroll to see if it's in there. Because if it's too high, you could be overheating the compressor. If it's too low, you might not be heating enough of that oil. I'd love to hear questions and comments. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.